Hey guys, today's video will be about how a character gets realistic and relatable. The example I will use to talk about this topic will be Tsuki Shimake from Haikyuu. Haikyuu is about a volleyball team that plays one game after the other. They do not have any supernatural powers or an interesting future goal like, for example, in Korukunu Basket. But still, every time I see the opening, my heart starts racing and often I cry. So, following, I will introduce you some of the means that the makers are using to get this emotional involvement with the characters. Let's start with how the characters are introduced. In most of the stories, characters are introduced in a certain way and they stay like that throughout the whole story. In Haikyuu, the characters are introduced in a very realistic way. Think of yourself, how you get in an environment where you do not know anybody and how do you perceive the people, for example, the people who are in groups already talking to each other, and compare this impression to the impression you had after talking to the people. There is a difference. People tend to be scared of people they did not talk to yet. This is something evolutionary based. Tsukishima is introduced in exactly the same way, in a very correct and realistic way. Hey, Hinata and Kagiyama first seeing Tsukishima are kind of scared of him. Hinata is very scared of this big guy um, who's so good looking. Only a few sequences later you understand that the first impression you got from looking on him through Hinata's eyes, this impression is not real, it's not correct. Number two, changing perspectives. We get a more precise picture of Tsukishima's personality by seeing him through the eyes of his teammates. This is not a very rare thing to do. Many characters are introduced through other characters talking about them. But Haikyuu does it in a very intelligent way. For example, let's look at the scene when Oikawa gets introduced. Everybody is talking about Oikawa and about his personality. And just with a side sentence, someone compares the bad personality of Oikawa with the personality of Tsukishima. So just with this side comment, we get to know Tsukishima's character better without its being so obviously hammered in our heads. But more as a little hint. Number three, giving the background. By knowing a childhood of a character, we understand his nowadays behavior better. But this is not something that Haikyuu developed out of the nowhere. This is a tool that many animes use for a long time. But again, Haikyuu is using it in a very special and subtle way. Tsukishima's background is that he was traumatized by seeing his brother suffering from volleyball because he cared too much. This is why Tsukishima closes up and stops caring about anything at all and stops taking things too close to his heart. The unique thing about showing his background is that nobody told us the sentence that Tsukishima is sort of traumatized. So it wasn't again too obvious. And through this process of thinking about the character and understanding, um, a connection gets created. This is just like in real life. When someone tells you all the time how he or she is, you do not internalize this knowledge. A real connection is born when you think about the person yourself. When you connect the dots you have for example, by meeting his relatives, by seeing him behaving in certain situations, and then thinking about him, thinking about his past. And this is where the connection is made, Why, while you analyzing a person. Number four, character development. 
many lung animes try to show changes in their characters. Let's take Naruto, for example. Naruto wants to become the Hokage in the beginning just to get admired and in the end to help the people and his society. No offense, I love Naruto, but uh, this is a very flat character development because it's very black and white and it has just two steps. In real life, changes are coming very slow and they're coming hard with inner struggle. Haikyuu is showing this inner struggle in a perfect way. Actually, the main reason why I picked Tsukishima for this video is his insanely good written character development. We see his inner struggles, or for example, we see him still having his old thought patterns, but his behavior is already becoming new, like in this scene that I really love. Okay, I ended here to um, keep it more short, but I could talk about it for ages. So if you're interested in ever in any anime or in any um, characters in particular, just let me know in the comments and. Um, I think I'm done with Haikyuu because the third season is over already. And yeah, I'll see what I'll do next. My uh, next video idea was to analyze why the female fan base, especially the young female fan base, is so interested in homosexual male characters, like Yuri on Ice. And yeah, I'll see, maybe I make an analysis on that. Let me know if that interests you. So enjoy your week.